When I walk with scissors, my eyes hurt. And this spell is for Prin Kesbla Chickert, whose arranged marriage to Tenderheart, I had reason to believe, promised to bring peace to war-torn Carolot. But it's the day of the wedding, and she's nowhere to be found. The word is onomatopoeia. If you're smart, you'll spell it with me. O N O M A T O P O E I A. Onomatopoeia. What a word sounds like and what a word means, they have nothing to do with each other. The proof of this can be found in the existence of other languages. Now, I know this may come as a surprise to some of my fellow Americans, but different places are notorious for using totally different words for things. Now, this fact about the sounds of words having nothing to do with the things they're stuck to, it has at least one fun exception. Onomatopoeia. From the Greek for name-making, it's where the thing suggests its own name, makes its own name, because the thing happens to be kind of like a word. It's a sound. For example, you know, I, I don't, I don't want to do this. I'm not, I'm not doing this. <sighs> Wolf. <laughs> Meow. Clip clop. Drip. Drop. Sizzle. Hiccup. Beep. Boom. Bomb. Ding dong. Jingle. Choo choo. Pitter patter. Zip. Smack. Tick tock. Oh, special. Yes, yes, yes. You see, cock a doodle doo said cock a doodle doo. And henceforth it was cock a doodle doo. Of course, this only goes so far. All the world's tongues and ears can't seem to agree what any of these things sound like. For example, the French dog goes wah, wah. Not everything can be explained. Give me your words. I will spell them 